Recently, I was reading an article in the Linux Journal, and there was a example of how to scramble words in a shell script. And uh, let's go ahead and do it their way, and then look at alternatives. Uh, so first of all, we need a word to scramble, word or sentence to scramble. So I'll say echo, hello world from Linux. Sure. Uh, so of course, if we echo that out, it just echoes that out. Let's pipe that into said. And then what we're going to do with said here is we're going to replace things. We're going to say dot, and then we're going to say end backslash n. So what this is saying is take every character and basically put each character on its own new line. We're adding a new line after each character. So when we do that, we have our sentence now printed out one character per, per line. Next, we're going to pipe that into the shuff command. What shuff does is it shuffles um, lines of text. So now we can do that, and now our lines of text are all shuffled up. And now we just need to put it back together on one line. So what we would do is take that same line and we're going to pipe that into TR, which, which will um, take one character and replace it with another. Or in this case, we're going to use dash D, which means find this character and delete it. And we're going to do backslash N, which means new line. So basically, we're splitting each character onto its own line, shuffling all the lines, and then we're removing all the new line characters, and that gives us the word all shuffled up. Of course, our new shell line ends up at the end of the line because we've removed all new lines, but here is our sentence all shuffled up. And that's great. A uh, few things though. Uh, one, shuff is not always available on all systems. Um, Sed and TR are basic tools, but shuff for shuffle is not, not always there. Uh, but TR and said, yeah, they're fairly common. They're in, in BusyBox, so even on a lightweight system, they're there. But can we do this in pure bash? See, we're now piping into external commands, three external commands outside of bash. Can we do it purely in bash? And can we do it where we create a function so we can easily call it? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and let's go ahead and just create a script for it, I guess. I was going to write it out in the shell, but now I'm thinking we'll just call it. Um, well, no, let's let's do it right in the shell here, and then we can add it to a script later on. We'll call it function scramble. So we're going to call the function scramble. Uh, then we're going to go local. By the way, I hit shift enter to create a new line without running that command. We'll create a variable, a local variable in this function called s. And we're going to say dollar sign asterisk I. So dollar sign asterisk is saying basically take whatever you're passing um, this to this script and put it in S and I is just creating another variable. Now we're going to say while and in here we're going to say dollar sign uh, brackets pound S sorry yeah brackets parentheses parentheses semicolon and then we're going to say do. Then we'll say inside these braces, and I'll explain all this momentarily. And I'm starting to regret typing this all out in the shell and not in a script file. Um, S. There we go. Aren't you glad you came here just to watch me type? Again, I'll explain everything in a minute. S colon I colon one. Now we'll say S equals dollar sign S colon colon I bracket or curly brace, whatever you want to call it. S colon I plus one. Close that. Done. And now, close that off, and we have created a function. So now, we should be able to say scramble hello from Linux, or hello world from Linux, if we want to do the same thing from Linux. And actually, let's say bash assignment, because we're using pure bash. And there we go. Uh, we got our words all scrambled. Now, that might seem a little more complicated. 
Uh, technically, if you want to be technical about it, it's more efficient because you're not starting new processes. You're just using built-in bash functions. And again, that makes it a little bit simpler. You don't have to worry about things like shuff not being available. But once you create the function, you can call that function whenever you'd like, uh, especially if you use it inside a script. But what are we doing here? So again, we are calling this function and then passing it some arguments. The dollar sign asterisk says, you know, put into this local variable s everything that's passed this function. So everything you type after that. Then we're going to go through each character of that variable s. That's what this means while we're going through each character. We are going to find uh, the a random character in there. Actually, I said that wrong. This is not each character. This is the number of characters. It's the length. So it's going to calculate the length of characters. And we're going to go through each one. And we're going to use random to get a random character in that range. So we're saying, uh, let's let's just say there's there's 20 characters in here. I don't know how many there are. We're saying find a random character basically from 0 to 20 right here. And we're putting that in I. Now we're going to say echo with no new line at the end, uh, S whatever character we just randomly grabbed, just one character. So we're going to find that variable, go to a character, and print that one character. We're echoing that out. And then we're going to take S, and we're going to basically what this is saying is find that character again and remove that character from S. So then we loop again. So before it was 20 characters, now it's 19. So it's finding a random number between 0 and 19. And then it's going to go through that again and find a random character in there, print it out without a new line character, and then it's going to remove that character and replace the variable s. I hope I explained that well. I know I, I kind of messed up here a little bit. But again, this is saying number of characters. It's the length of whatever string that we place in there printing out a random character, and then removing that random character and looping over again until we run out of characters. The reason this works with the while loop is it's as long as this you know, isn't zero. So once you get to zero, it breaks out of the loop. So, and again, we can type whatever we want in here. We can type in, this is a test of things that happen in the shell. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. And there we go. We got our characters all scrambled up. Now, this is not scrambling individual words, it's scrambling the entire line. Um, but that's it. That's it in Pure Bash. So if you want to do it, a quick and simple little one liner here, you can do that using external tools, running multiple processes, or just create a function in your script just like this. And then you can call that function whenever you want. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope that made sense. Uh, you have two options there. In reality, uh, you know, if I'm just doing this from memory, I'm going to do it like this. But this function here, I can save this in my templates in Vim, and then I can import that function. I can use Vim to, to import that template. Or uh, have I done the tutorial on importing functions from into scripts? I don't know if I have. I need to do that if I haven't. Anyway, uh, you can have a library with your functions in it that you call or just add this function with, as a template um, in whatever editor you use for your scripts. So, films by Chris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. Be sure to check that out as well as my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. We all know what Patreon is. I really appreciate a support. If you support me on Patreon, you get early access downloads of the videos so you don't have to wait for them. And uh, it really helps me out. If you can't use Patreon for some reason, you can use PayPal. Go to filmsbychris.com uh, and go to the support section. There, There's links to both my PayPal and Patreon, if you can support me there. If you can't support me financially, think about supporting me through likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and all that fun stuff. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.